All right, boys, welcome to the very last battle. What could actually be, I'm, I'm moving away to get a bottle of water. The very last battle. This battle means so much to me, and it also means a lot to Chip. Um, both myself and Chip have had a very uh, rocky start to the season, and both myself and him have been doing better towards the end. And it shows because now if I win, I knock him out of playoffs. If he wins, he knocks me out of playoffs. If MV, I, this, it comes down to my match and MV's match. Cause if I beat Chimp right now, um, then I knock Chimp out of playoffs and I go and he doesn't. But if MV loses to Moet, then both me and Chimp back don't make it to playoffs. I, no, I would assume that Chimp still makes it and I don't. So even if Chimp loses this, he needs Envy to lose, and then, because the, the, regardless, Envy's loss doesn't matter, but Moet needs to win, Chimp needs to win, I need to win, so, guys, it's intense, it, it's wild. Guys, of course, leave a like down below, uh, facing up my boy Chimp. Uh, he brought everything, everybody that I thought that he would bring. Um, I, I, I also don't see, um, well, there's some mods I did not expect. He brought Slurp Puff. I guess he's trying to sleep with Slurp Puff. He didn't bring, he brought, he brought Klefki. Klefki literally is so bad uh, for me. It is, it's It's just, it's terrible for me. Klefki is very good against me. Um, more obnoxious, if anything. He brought Snorlax and Crocodile. Two Mons I did not think that he actually was going to bring. Um, I'm just going to keep it at buck. 50, I did not think that he'd bring Snorlax. Zero Aura, Snorlax, Lucario, Slurp Puff. Crocodile and Klefki. So I think he's trying to sweep me here. Um, because there's no other reason why he'd bring Klefki. Or I'm sorry, not fucking Klefki. Yeah, he's definitely trying to sweep me. Um, he didn't bring who I thought that he would bring. I'm um, gonna keep it a buck fifty. I thought that he would bring I had it written down here. Let me find this. So I thought that he actually would bring Gorgeist, and he didn't bring Gorgeist at all to stop my grassy glide spam. And now looking at this, damn, I brought Scarf just for like DD Gyarados. He wasn't bring Gyarados either. So it looks like SD sort SD Glassy Grassy Glide would have actually been nuts here. But I'm gonna lock it in. See what he wants to do. He's also locked in. Um, we start our good luck and have funds. This will be interesting to say the least. Um, he brought Slurp Puff, Crook, and Snorlax. Three mons I did not expect. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Slurp Puff actually makes total sense. It actually manhandles my team. I think I lose. If the Slurp Puff actually sets up screens, I think I lose. So he leads Crook. Okay. So here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. So he le he leads Crook, which is really interesting. Um, pretty sure that he is a defensive Crook. And I just got the Intimidate drop on him, which is big. Um, I think I want to just click Moonblast and not even think and worry about anything. Uh, cause it's one of those things where even if he does go Klefki, um, he has an Intimidate drop on him right now. So I don't necessarily think that he's gonna be SB to me. Um, well, that's a lie. Sorry, he does a few, but he has the attack drop. So I could do that. I could get a slow teleport. See what happens. Um, I'm gonna try it. F it. I think he goes right to Klefki. This is a really bold read. Kitara, Kitara, he does. Pog for me. I'm glad I did not move blast. So, cause I got an intimidate drop, right? All right I'm running the dashes right now on the notepad. Um, Bruna! Okay, okay. <laughs> so, I, I'm just gonna go Shelmet right now. Kumer! Kumer! I'm just gonna go Shelmet right now. I think he brought that server for webs or whatever, but I'm gonna but I'm gonna see my for spikes. He can put up his spikes, he can put up his stuff as well too. Spikes fucks us both equally in the ass, but we're gonna spike trade. Look there down spikes. So I'm just gonna keep do I looking at this, I think all both of us are just gonna get up all three. I mean, this is a good opportunity for me to get up all three. Likewise was well with him. Like I said, I don't have much for Klefki. Klefki is really, really annoying against my team. As you can see, I, I don't really do anything to this Klefki. Um, I also don't want to get teared with my Rillaboom. So I think he puts up Reflect. Follow suit. But yeah, we just got all three up. Straight up. Um, I... <sighs> 
This is a little this is a little annoying. Um, I have the baton pass out now, out into uh, my Heliolisk. Because the plan is Heliolisk is quite literally just one of the best things I have against his Klefki, regardless if he has the screens up or not. Um, so I'm gonna go on to this Heliolisk and hoping that I can deal some damage for sure. He puts a reflect first, which is expected. I mean, it's both screens, so probably reflect reflect light screen and then maybe play rough. Or maybe it's just reflect two moves. We'll see. Um, I have to go out into foreskin here. I, I just, again, like I said, Klefki is really obnoxious for my team. So I have to just go to Heliodar right now, right now. Just gotta do that. Simply have to. Um, the play here is just Thunderbolt. I know that he has a zero aura, but like I don't think he's gonna go out to the zero aura right now. And if he does, I can just go straight to Coomer. Um, and he just, I don't think he wants to come in on the stealth, ha stealth, or sorry, the stealth one. The spikes. I mean, I guess if he does, he gets freaking um, the volt absorb on it. But I mean, he won't be at full with the layer of spikes and the thunderbolt. He won't. He could be. God damn, boy! What a man! Oh, Jesus Christ! That's huge! Oh my God, that's game changing. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, my nigga! I just killed him through light screen at full! Oh my god! Oh my god! I guess read the Coomer. Oh my god! Oh my- I think he CCs or he volt switches. I don't think he stays in. Oh my god! No way he CCs. He book ups! Wait, I lose. Wait, what? Oh, this is terrain. I thought it was a fucking berry. I was like, Manigo, what? Lefties. It's book up lefties. Don't tell me he's sub. 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 Do not tell me he's sub. I saw lefties. He could be sub. Oh, thank God. Nice. Connect! 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 Woke up, knockoff. Dude. Okay, now if he subs, I straight up do not fucking care. My item's gone. Um, I'm just gonna let the thing go now. I'm just gonna let it die. Dude, that's fucking insane. So I think he's trying to... He looks like the Zero Aura is even a sweeper. Dude. That's fucking insane. Woke up, knockoff, Plasma Fist, CC. I mean, I don't even know what to click here. I'm just looking at the recovery. He plows the fists here. Okay. So I'm dead. That's crazy. Dude, my nigga. My nigga. This thing is so obnoxious to deal with. Okay. The reflect and bulk up means I can't wood hammer. That's why it's so obnoxious to deal with. Wait, this is a threat. Okay, I have to go Quana. Take a plus one knockoff. I have to. I absolutely have to. Because if I go to corner right now, I will trace his Volt Absorb. This is a threat, and I have to absolutely shit out damage here. I have to. Okay, I got a Volt Absorb. Oh my god. It all comes down if I got to take a plus one knockoff. But I have to click Moonblast here. Uh, his light screen's up. He's not even worried, even if I take this. Which I do. My my specs is gone. This will deal significantly less damage now with the light screen, but it's still solid. He reflected first, which is good for me. I needed to run out. Big. Um. On his side, reflect is up for two more turns. Okay, so after this damage that I take. After this damage that I take. Yeah, I have we should have one left, but he'll be low enough to the point where I can just simply He drain punches here. Wow. Good prep. Good prep. Drain punch lefties, terrain. 
Torian's gone though. Good prep. But Toxic's gonna hurt a lot. Okay. Rillaboom should kill. He also did not bring anything that stops this. Yeah, he goes Snorlax though. He absolutely goes Snorlax. Once I've killed this thing. Then I go right to Keldeo. And Keldeo actually manhandles his team. So, I'm gonna play Wood Hammer. I could high worth power, but I'm gonna Wood Hammer. Um, because if I hard power, what's my con? Nah, I'm gonna Wood Hammer. I'm gonna straight up do it. I mean, I've I've spikes up. This guy's dead regardless. He's just gonna let it go. Okay, Zora's dead. Nice. Don't really mind. Don't really mind the little recoil I take because the terrain's up. I, I should heal more than I take. Um, there's absolutely no way he does not go Snorlax here. And the reflect is gone. There's absolutely no way he does not go Snorlax here. He has to go Snorlax here. Which is it like a belly drum sweeper set? I don't know. Um, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, he has to go Snorlax here. There's absolutely no way this Snorlax kills me. Wait, wait. I'm just gonna hard swap into Keldeo. I think I'm gonna do that. I don't even want a wood hammer here, and I don't want this thing to get paralyzed. This is actually my win con. But it's the question if he belly drums. If he belly drums here, I guess I'm not really too worried about it. Ice Green's last turn is his turn as well, too. It all comes out if he body slams here, which he does. I don't mind as long as I don't get paired. Oh. God, I am God's favorite. And light screen is gone. Big. I click secret sword. Even though it does fizzle with everything, so I, I just I just wanted it to be gone though. I'm, I'm still keeping track of light screen, even though I'm aware that it does physical damage. So I click that. So I thought that he bring quillfish as well to stop my Keldeo. He doesn't have anything to stop his Keldeo. The only thing that stopped my Keldeo is a zero aura, and it's gone. You brought Chopple! Good prep, chimp! Wait, fantastic prep! Don't para. Oh, nice! Dude, great prep! My nigga! Okay, that didn't do much, so maybe he lives this, right? Dude, that's tough. Wait, what stops my Rillaboom? What stops it? Um. So he has Lucario, Surpuff, and Crook left. Sorox is still alive. If I low kick here, who comes out into this? No, Lucario does. If I go out to this and I click Thunderbolt, who comes out into this? Crocodile comes out into this. I could surf and then go out to Rillaboom and just body, but it's just a hazardous right now. Oh, losing Keldia was huge there. Maybe I should have Hydro Pumped. I knew that he would live. I don't want to go out into Rillaboom right now because the terrain isn't gone yet. Dude, that actually just may have changed the entire game. I'm not even kidding. It actually may have, depending on the priority and the hazard stacking right now. It may have changed the entire game. I'm not working with Thunderbolt if he does go to Crocodile. Um, because I can just surf. And I should kill after, um... Yeah, he's just gonna let it go anyway. Dude, like... Snorlax killing there? A Hydro Pump? In another world, it probably killed. I don't even want to look at the Calgard now. I don't even want to waste time. But in another world, it killed. 
I'm gonna kill real quick right now. No, Secret Sword at most did the most damage to him. So that actually was the most I could have done. Unless I got like a hundred pump crit, that was the most that I could have done. Um, I'm gonna just click Thunderbolt. I don't really want to go out into anybody. As you can see from my team right now. I'm gonna just wait Thunderbolt. Lucario is actually so threatening now. Okay, Lucario could win him the game. And he's Life Orb. He actually could win the game off this Mon. I think that's game. I think that's game. I think he won the game. I think he should have won the game. I'm going to high horse here. I think he won the game. Blue me lose a kill, they'll last me the game. I think I chew an E-speed. Yes. I don't want to take the recoil. Lucario's dead. I didn't want to die to recoil. I think Weave also wins me the game. I think. Because I won't eat, I think. Um, no, he just won the game with this. Unless I can get a, a fat high horsepower here. And he, I can't switch. He probably Billy Drums. I doubt, right? I doubt. I'd have to essentially get a high amount of damage of a high horsepower and then Ice Shard. But then he has the Intimidate Drop. I'd have to get three Axles. Cotton Guard. Is he a berry to... No, he doesn't have the max speed. He's definitely going to chew this now. Right? He didn't eat a berry or anything. Maybe I should have... Maybe I should have wood hammered there. I actually don't know if I would have lived from the recoil. I just didn't want to take the recoil. But he cotton guards there. So that's interesting. It would literally come down if I Weavile actually just kills it. There's his berry! Okay, he won the game with that thing. He just had, his purpose is insane, dude. Oh! Not unless he keeps missing one more time! Thanks for the memories! Oh my god, dude. I'm just gonna keep losing it. That's tough. Oh, my champ! Champ! Oh, my God! Champ! 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 What if he keeps missing? Champ! Oh, my God! Don't do that to me, man! Yeah, I don't kill the thing. I'd have to crit all three. I don't kill the thing. He honestly, it was a, he, this guy had insane prep. I think the match was still great. It was super close, right? The, it was a great match. The match was super close. I think me losing Keldeo locked my, my loss in. Um, I don't even think that was a roll or maybe it was, but I had a feeling that it wouldn't kill. I had a feeling that it wouldn't kill. So can you miss a player if I could just crit with three axles? He probably has a drain punch. He's not even going to risk it. He hasn't clicked yet. Chimp, is the game not over? Miss, miss, miss. Ah! Dude, you know that little laggy animation it does? What is up? What you, it be playing with your soul, bro. It be playing, that little laggy animation, it be playing with your soul, bro. Honestly, I'm not even upset about this match. It was great. It could have gone either way. I think if I kept my Keldeo alive, I may have won this game. Because Keldeo outsped everything. I know he had E-speed. My Keldeo was healthy. You know what I mean? If I used literally anybody else to get the chip down. But Chopberry was great prep. The guy had insane prep. He had bulk up, zero aura. He had a Chopperberry, Ayapapa Berry, Cotton Guard. Dude, he had great prep. It was great prep from Chimp. Um, GG's. Chimp is locked in on playoffs. I think Moet could lose. And depending how bad Moet loses, I think I'm in.
right? I think I, I had I had to win this game. I don't even think it matters if I lose to Chimp and Moa loses to MB. Maybe depending on the fist fuck. But that's tough. That's tough. Um, to look at the rankings again real quick. Um, I'm minus. I'm minus four right now. So I'm I'm locked out. Wakanda Weavile. He is no. I'm four and six. It doesn't even matter. I'm out of playoffs, guys. It's tough. Um, I had a really rough season. I did. Um, I had a really a hard start. Really rough start to the season. I got timer. I I, I went to timer with MV and, you know. After that, I got burned by Joey with Rillaboom. And I mean, dude, my Rillaboom couldn't do shit. And it was the best thing I had against Joey's team. So it's just tough. Dude, even the low knockoff roll on the Nuzleafs. I'm still salty about that. But you know what? I brought a br I, I brought a great last game. I won my few last games. I did great for the last three games. I'm not salty about it. You know what I mean? This is easily the most fun I've had because my team was just so good. Um, but that's probably it for me, guys. That's it's it for me in my draft career. Um, I might just do a whole new draft team to pitch, pitch or pitch and put up the fucking uh, hat. And maybe you can get a new one for a better overall record. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for sticking with me, guys. I appreciate it so much. Uh, GG's a chimp. Shout out to homie, my brown bruda. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, check out the channel. And I'll see you guys uh, probably in the next WBE. Thank you for coming out. Good night, guys.